I wish I could have got videos of this the other day when Cooper and Zach started welding. I think I showed you their little ranger. This is Cooper's little ranger. They were making a container back here. This little tank plus this big tank. I think this one's 55 gallons and I don't remember if that one's 25 gallons. But they've been welding and Cooper and Zach, they are very creative. They both are very, very good welders. But I think Cooper did all the welding on this. They painted it last night. So I wish I would have got some videos as they were working on it, but I was not here. This thing is fantastic. The big tank will sit in here and then the little tank will sit on here and this will hang over the tailgate so they can close the tailgate on the little ranger. But look at them welds. There are some very, very nice welds. I guess when I look at welds, I want them to look professional. And this looks professional. Someday along the line, I'll show you some welds that they're not professional. They're not professional at all. But these are very, very good. This thing's gonna look really neat. And then they got little, I think these are little things they made or re-shrunk up for the reel, the hose and stuff. Then they got a spot to stick the wand down in. All right, well, we gotta go cover a grave. We have a cremation this afternoon we have to cover. I don't know why I'm saying we. Well, I guess we is you and me. I'm working on my taxes this morning, trying to get them done. I got an appointment coming up. I don't know about you guys. I just, paperwork and me, I'm not one that's really into paperwork, but it's gotta be done. And I'm dragging my feet, I'm getting close, but I get a little break here since we gotta go cover a grave now. I was just kinda scanning across how nice that trailer cleaned up. Oh! And I think we'll be putting the tickets out again so you guys can see, but where we've been getting our lights, we got 32 new lights, 30 new ones that are gonna be replacing all these. So we're gonna be putting LEDs in here. It's gonna be some nice lighting. Today is one of them funerals. The wind is blowing pretty strong out here. Kind of that springtime wind. But it's actually a little colder up here than I was expecting. And I wish I would have brought a warmer coat. After I put so much dirt in and I forgot to bring my bigger stomper, I like to kind of stomp the dirt in to try to get it packed in a little better. Try to get it back to natural state as quick as we can. This got a little hole there I'm trying to fill up. There we go. Sometimes these little cremation ones actually can take a little longer than a guy thinks. But you just want to make sure the dirt's packed in there right. Otherwise what happens eventually with the rain and stuff, things push down there. And then you got a big sinkhole. All right, I got some people pulling in, so I'm going to shut the camera off here for a little bit and hide it. make sure we try to leave it looking nice as best as we can dirt's a little wet today but once we get some sun and the grass pops through that hmm sorry about that as soon as the grass pops through the uh, dirt get some sun on it she'll look really nice that is the main thing when you're out here at the cemetery try to make things look as nice as you can and then stop and make it even look nicer we got to remember family, loved ones, they're pulling in here and they're wanting to look out and they're not wanting to look at a mess. And sometimes just an extra 15 minutes can make things look so much nicer. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just double checking everything, making sure I'm not leaving a big old clump of mud somewhere. Just taking that extra time. I'll admit though, sometimes when you're out here and it's a bit nice or it's colder than all, beans get out. And sometimes you're just like, I just want to be done. Get out of here for the day. But then you have to step back for a minute and it's like, it's okay. Take that extra 15 minutes. I can warm up a little later or if I have to step in the truck for a minute and start the engine and let the heat warm me up. It's just, like I said, when families pull in and, well, if anybody pulls in, just cruising along. You want them to be able to look at the stones, have memories, not all at once see a big old pile of dirt like we buried well, like we buried a cow or something out back in the pasture. We want it to look nice. People to be proud to come in the cemetery. This time of year, it's always hard because you 
and everything's kind of dirty looking the grass is still kind of brown and just when the spring comes and things start greening up that's when things look nice and then come springtime when things get nice we'll come out here with a skid loader get some fresh dirt there's going to be some graves that settled from uh fall time to winter time stuff might even be some graves that settled from five years ago but that's when we come in here and get things looking nice re fill them in seed them up get them looking nice all right well let's get out of here guys tell you what that sun's sure bright but it's still brisk out here the wind the breeze it's just but warmer weather's coming give you an update I'm still sitting here waiting been in the office for maybe a whole minute feel my heart beat beating feels like I've been in for 20 minutes it's been a whole minute minute 10 now <laughs> it's the bottom right second from the back tooth pulled out six months ago or so so hopefully it's healed up now we're gonna start the tooth implant today I think they're gonna put a little pin in there don't know much about it I know it's not cheap I think five grand or something like that time it's all said and done but I miss that tooth because that's the side I like to eat on and oh, drives me absolutely crazy. And then you're eating something, you get it over there. Ah, give you another update. It's been about two minutes now. Do I get up, run, leave? But then two days from now, I'll be thinking if I would have did it, it'd be over with by now. Time does fly. You get something done and sometimes you look back. It's been five years ago since I broke my foot. 10 years ago, wow. You guys are helping me through this right now. It's like when you're in the office and they come in and they call your name, Daddy Cornstar. You kind of look around, hope somebody else stands up for you. Didn't happen. There was only two people out in the waiting room when I was here. And they were girls, so chances are they ain't gonna be Daddy Cornstar. <laughs> Just looked at the clock. Been sitting here for five minutes now. <sighs> Time slows down when you're waiting for this kind of stuff. Did I do a bunch of searching this stuff on the internet? No, I did not. Cause you can pull up a huge, huge horizon of what's going on around you. But I decided not to because you always get them people and oh, you shouldn't do this, oh, there's a reason why. And then the other one's like, oh, it's the best thing ever. But you have to use your best judgment and your dentist judgment wonder if that's full of money need to wax my boots They're getting dirty hey my fingernails are clean at least today wonder if somebody stole the door i see hinges there i guess the good thing is if there ain't a door there they can't lock me in here wonder if they take checks that's all i brought checks checkbook what are they gonna do say hey we don't take checks what are you gonna pay it with I don't have nothing to pay you with. That's all I have is checks. We don't take out of town checks. Well, let me get an address here in town. I'll come back in a couple months and give you a local check. And they'll probably slap me back in the chair and take out what they did this morning because they're like, hey, we don't take out of town checks. You're out of here, buddy. Ah, probably make me do dishes or something. Maybe they'll make me work on other patients. That's what they'll do. They'll sign me up as a dentist today, so. And go around pull people's teeth and put in a few cavities be kind of interesting learn as i go i can look it up on the internet should have took some sleeping pills i don't know about you guys though i'm kind of one of the people if i could be out sleeping just put me out just hit me with a hammer or whatever wake me up when you're done hair's dry in here my eyes are drying out my eyes will probably dry up like a raisin i'll come out of here and they'll be all shrunk up hey why can't you see my eyes are raisins I can hear the dentist in the other room talking to a patient. But you know what? I'm glad they're taking the time to answer their questions and stuff. Everybody's so busy nowadays. Sometimes they don't answer your questions and they rush you through. I'm pretty impressed what I'm hearing here so far. They're taking time, letting the person know, hey, you're a person, we care about you. See that little thing right there, that purple thing? That's bulletproof. I guess they put that on you if you're in a bad part of town or whatever. So if they're working on your teeth and somebody's shooting at you, at least you know you're protected. 
bulletproof. Well, I am done. I guess he said my tooth was, my jaw was like a rock. And then I accidentally bit down or something when he was drilling and I guess it caught my lip. So I had to put some stitches in my lips. So now I gotta stop somewhere and get some pain medicine. I don't know if you'll be able to see us or not, but me and Mama Cornstar, after surgery, major surgery of the implant, mouth is feeling better, throbbing just a little bit. But me and Mama Cornstar went out for a really nice lunch. I can't believe you ate all that. So I actually ate really good. I was hungry, Hopefully but it. like I said, I got stitches in my front lip too. I guess I closed my mouth when they were drilling or something and the drill bit caught my lip and I got stitches in my lip. Plus where they put the implant, they stitched up. So we're going to head home now. Anything you want to say, Mama Cornstar? No. Well guys, made it back home, but my front lip where I guess I bit the drill bit. <laughs> Kind of tore that up, got stitches in that. So that kind of irritates a little bit, but I know it wasn't the doctor's fault. It was just things happen that way, but they got me on pain medicine. I feel pretty good. We're home now. Me and Mama Cornstar gonna kick back a little bit tonight, not overdo it. Just glad to get this implant thing started and down the road here, we'll have a new tooth. I'll feel good.